Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm in here to do my 2013 favorites video. I decided to get up and do this recording and get things rolling for the new year. I think this is my first video of the new year. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. My disclaimer, y'all gonna hear my fire alarm chirping. Okay, so let's get into my favorites i'm gonna do i have some body some smell good some skincare all the other good stuff so i'm gonna get into it and of course makeup of course makeup so the first thing i'm gonna do is body y'all know i love the summer's eve um feminine cleansing wash and this one is my favorite which is the what's the name of this one it doesn't have a name i don't think it's just for sensitive skin but it smells good and i love it i get it from walmart for 278 i believe and you know i keep like a bunch of them under my sink okay i'm gonna move into hair i have several hair products that i like but this one you all know i recently purchased to get my natural hair in order and it's the icy moist three minute miracle um, and it's a conditioner. So yeah, I don't use it for three minutes. I let it sit on my hair. I actually need to do something with my hair today, but I got to do Tamaya's hair. So I don't know. But it's the Oxy Moist 3 Minute Miracle. I got this from Walmart. I don't remember how much it costs. Um, this is eight fluid ounces. It has the little nozzle. So you turn it and twist it. So you ain't in the tub like with the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. Even though that's one of my favorites too, but I don't have it in here with me. Um, that's in the jar. So I love this. Not just not only because it makes my hair really moisturized, but because of the bottle. I love the container that it's in. Alright, moving on to smell goods. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love I love Escada. I just love it. So one of my favorites is Into the Blue. Y'all can see I didn't use a lot. I use it very sparingly. I love this stuff. It it smells so freaking good so this is into the blue my next favorite is this one is um yeah this is um rock and rio and it oh my god y'all i love escada and unfortunately like rock and rio island kiss those are discontinued so it's hard to find these but when i find Escada products, I get them because they're discontinued, so it's hard to find. But it's man, it's it's oh, it's worth every dime I pay for them to have them. Okay, so that's Rock and Rio. My last one is my Nicki Minaj perfume. This one is called Pink Friday, I believe. Yeah, Pink Friday. I love this not only because of the smell. The smell was a bonus because I wanted it anyway because I'm a Nicki Minaj fan. But I love the bottle and it smells so good. Mm, it's very girly, very light. You know, I like it. It's crisp. It's clean. I love this. I want her new one. And I saw a gift set for the Pink Friday at CVS. And it has the purse, um, uh, perfume to go in your purse. So I'm definitely going to go and pick that up. Alright, so that is the end of my smell goods and body moving on to face if you guys watched my um maybe four videos back you saw that i picked this up this is the biore blemish fighting ice cleanser and it says it clears and cools and it does exactly what it says it says it removes um i think they claim to remove 99 percent of the dirt and stuff it's oil free yeah 90 it removes 99 percent if you can see that and it does when i wash my face with this my face is clean my face doesn't feel overly dry and tight i love this product my bestie hooked me up to it helped me to it and i love this product i think it was 574 in my walmart um and i love it i oh, i have to get back up to just put under my sink because this is like my favorite favorite facial cleanser i love this stuff um moisturizer this is my favorite 
It's the Pines Clarion B. As you guys know, in a few videos back, I found this. I've been looking for this for like a year and I could not find it. Found it at Walmart in the travel section. Mm, dollar. I think it was a dollar or whatever. And I love it. Um, I use it very sparingly. As you can see. After I wash my face, I put it on. It claims to remove the dark spots. Um, and you'll see on here it says dark spots. It is phase dark spots. I haven't seen that yet, but I have oily skin. It doesn't make me oily. It doesn't make me shiny. None of that. I do apply it to my dark spots. Is it working yet? No, but you know, I still love it. So I love this little pines. Wish I could find a bigger one, but I have like three or four backups of this. So I'm good. And every time I come across it at Walmart, I pick up another one. Um, What do I use to clean my face i found this little jewel at my local dollar tree this is the global beauty care argon oil cleansing toilets these things work they were one dollar one wipe and it takes off the makeup i love these i am going back to get like 10 of these and just put it in my drawer over here in my makeup um case or whatever what is this called makeup storage and yeah, you get 25 wet wipes and they work. My skin doesn't feel tight. My skin doesn't feel itchy. It hasn't irritated me. Nothing. I I love these. And they were a dollar at Dollar Tree. So yeah, I love those. Alright, we're going to move on to makeup. Well, I do my lips. My favorite um, lip balm is my EOS Balls. I have like three or four of these. I collect them. And my collection is down to like four. It's some that I'm missing. So whenever I'm at Target or Walmart and I see them, I grab one. This is the pink one. Don't know what it's called. Don't remember. It's what it looked like. You know, just the basic EOS ball. Only thing I use to moisturize my lips, either this or my Vaseline, which is what is by my bed. My favorite. Put that aside. All right. Since we're talking about lips, I guess I'll do my favorite lippies i have more than this as my favorite lippies but y'all i'm not pulling all that stuff out so first is this maybelline high shine lip gloss this particular line launched like a year or two ago this one is in number 50 and it is luminous latte I love this. I'm pretty sure this product launched like two years ago. Again, it's the Mega Shine or the High Shine lip glosses. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll swatch it. It just has the doe foot applicator. Y'all know I love nude lips. So, yeah. And that's what it looks like. Uh, when I'm just running out the door or whatever, yeah, this is it. Um, my next favorite is the NYX in Doll Pink. This is just the gloss. I don't know which one. You know, they have butter glosses. Matte. This is not a matte gloss or anything. This is Doll Pink number 80. No, number 08. Hopefully you can see it. But it's Doll Pink. Doe foot applicator. I'll swatch it. So pretty. And that's what it looks like. Got it from my local beauty supply store. Another NYX favorite for me is number 33 in natural. Um, again, don't know. It's not matte. So I don't know what collection this is a part of. I'll swatch it. It really looks like Luminous Latte. It's a little bit more pink. Again, y'all, I love nudes. So my collection has a lot of nudes in it. There it is. I love I love this. I can wear this all by itself. No liner, no nothing. I love this lippy. I love it. Next is a Nana Coco. Um, my absolute favorite that I just found, but it is my favorite for 2013 in my Nana Coco collection is Caramel Latte. I freaking love this color. It is a new color. Doe foot applicator. I'll swatch it for you. When I say it's my favorite, Miss Brown Sugar on Deck had it, um, and I went looking at, oh my God, I love it. And that's Caramel Latte right there. My absolute favorite, Nana Coco. My next one is City Girl. 
it's like a pinky nudish color again you know me and the nudes i love it so i will swatch um what i say this is city girl oh jesus <sighs> Oh, I love this color, y'all. Jesus, y'all don't understand my life. So here it is right here. That is City Girl. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, so that's City Girl. So that's all of my lippies. Next, I go into my favorite bases. I do a lot of um, neutral looks. Because y'all know I used to be scared of color. I'm slowly but surely coming out of that. So I have two of the Maybelline color tattoos. The first favorite is Tough as Taupe. This is what it looks like. It's taupe. It's just a taupe color. Just a basic taupey color. Yeah, I use that one. I love it. I got these from my Walmart for like five bucks or something like that. The next one is Bad to the Bronze, which I love. Y'all can see I love it. And that's how it looks. Bronzy golden color. Love it, love it, love it. Next, I'll go into my favorite blush for 2013. This is the Milani Fantastico Mauve Blush. Um, this is a baked blush, y'all. Y'all don't understand my love for this blush. Look at it. Look at it. Perfect for women of color. Dark. It's perfect for chocolate chicks. Oh, yes, God. I love it. Uh, my other favorite blush is the um, MAC Raisin Blush. I love this. This is really a good color for chocolate chicks like myself. It's a reddish brownish color. You may or may not be able to see it, but it's a reddish brownish color. It just gives my cheeks that little flush of color. So yeah, I love, 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 love it. I'm going to leave them out. Um, Next, I'll move on to my favorite highlight for the year. It is the Wet n Wild Center Stage Fergie, Fergie Collection and to reflect. It's a, they call it a shimmer palette. I use it. At, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at look, Do y'all see it? Do y'all see it? Oh. A moment. Whew. Baby Ticker 23 helped me to this like last year. Um, here's what it looks like. It's just shimmery. It just gives you that that highlight. You talking about a highlight. Baby bye for chocolate chicks. Baby, this is it. This is it. Yes, God. You can find this at Walmart and Walgreens. I love it. And this one is the To Reflect. Cause that's got oh no I'm sorry Carnival in Rio. This is the Carnival in Rio palette. Hopefully it's focusing, but it's Carnival in Rio. All right, All right next guys, I'm back. So as I was saying, I have two favorites in the Wet n Wild collection that I use for my eyeshadow looks. This one is the Vanity palette, ultimate favorite. I hunted until I found it, cause you know it's discontinued on ebay i think or amazon one of the two i paid like seven bucks for it but it was worth it i should have got more here are the colors you can see i hit pan on the darkest brown because i use it as a transitioning color in most of my makeup looks i love this palette oh my god i love it my next favorite is knock on wood this is still out walmart or walgreens and while I don't use the entire palette, my favorite to use is the pink. And I use that as a brow bone highlight color most times because it gives me, for my complexion, a natural um, highlight look instead of the white. Because it can kind of look ashy a little bit or the lighter color. So I prefer to use this one. I learned that tip from, what is her name, Coco Film here on YouTube. And I will um, link her channel. Oops. I will link her channel. So yeah, this is another fave of mine in my Wet n Wild collection. Next for eyes is my BH Cosmetics 88 Cool Neutral Palette. 
Um, I got this two years ago or last year. I can't remember. Um, yeah. So it has, oops. It has all the neutral colors. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. All the neutral colors. You can see my favorite, which is a dupe for Max Brown script. I have hit pan on it. But any neutral look that I want to create, I can create with this palette. I love it. It was worth every dime. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it wasn't much because, you know, it's BH. My next to set my face, I have two favorites. This one right here to do um, my all over is the Ruby Kisses Set It and Forget It. This one is in Rich. It's like a chocolate brown color. That's what it looks like. It looks orange, but it's really not that orange. It does neutralize. Um on my skin it just gives you a natural finish it looks orange but it's really not yeah my next favorite is my mac mineralized skin finish in deep dark hopefully you all can see that deep dark i use this all the time to set my highlight under my eyes because again it gives me a natural looking highlight and i will use it all over my face what i like is you probably won't be able to see it. It does have some shimmers in it, but it is my exact skin color. Egg to the, it's exact. I love this. This was, I don't remember how much it cost at Matt. Last but not least is my favorite foundation of all times, which is the CoverGirl 3-in-1. I am in the color Mocha. I love this foundation. I don't get oily. I don't. It gives me exactly what I need. I don't need a full coverage, you know, but you can build this up to full coverage. I do like a medium coverage. You use a little goes a long way. I am just now beginning to see, you know, where I am on it. And I've had this for a while. I love it. I'm in mocha, but I want to try another shade just to see. But this is my perfect match. Most of my pictures that you look, that you see me in, if you follow me on Instagram or anything, this is it. This is what I have on. Or either I have just dusted my mineralized skin finish all over my face and went out the door. This is like $9 or $10 at Walmart. I love it. Oh, I love it. My favorite of all times. So yeah, guys, that is it. That is all my favorites. Of course, you all know I am loving my... um my little matte quad but i didn't want to put that in my favorites because y'all know i just got it so yeah but of course i love it brown script is my favorite in here um and that's that color right there perfect transition color for me so yeah guys that's all i wanted to share with you thanks for watching remember to thumbs me up rate comment and subscribe and as always be amazing bye